Hey Gators, I just wanted to address a couple of common issues that we've been seeing with Schoology. The first is that some students are reporting that they don't see their course icons when they open Schoology from the portal. The quick fix for that is that usually um, they are on the recent activity screen, which brings up kind of like a news feed full of different highlights from all the courses that you are enrolled in. All they need to do to fix that immediately is to click on course dashboard here at the top and it will bring back the rectangular course icons for them to click on. The long-term fix for that is to have them go up to the top right hand corner of the screen, click on their name, and then choose settings. All the way at the bottom of the settings page, there's an option that says other options, set home page two. You're gonna make sure that course dashboard is selected. Then you'll hit save changes. And the next time that you open Schoology or the next time you go back to this page, it should automatically default to giving you the course dashboard first. The other issue that I've been seeing frequently is with your Google Meets links. I'm in my sandbox now, but this works for any sandbox course or a live course. When you click on your Google Meets link, Schoology tries to open all of the links that you give it within the Schoology screen. So ideally, those tabs will open within this gray box. However, Google Meets does not work that way, which is why you're getting the error meet.google.com refuse to connect. That's normal, and the only thing that you need to do to fix it is to have your students click on Google Meets link for class or whatever you've named the link. They can also do the same thing by selecting this little square with an arrow. Once you click on that, it'll bring up the familiar meet screen and allow you to join from the new tab. I hope that helps you. Have a wonderful day.